she still wants to defend herself so badly oh well i'm still a good girl oh i'm still high quality no matter what she's still gonna stick to that even if she just you know got ran through you don't do nothing but just sit at home and you want me to pay all the bills right so it's like girls have their expectations and then they like i said they feel like they don't have to live to their expectations but when they feel like they don't have to live up to their expectations they are complaining about the men, but the men are actually living up to their expectations, right? Being the provider. And obviously there's situations where guys aren't that. And you know, I feel like it should be 50, 50, 100%. <laughs> What is up, my B-Bus baddies and my bad money fellas? It is your girl, Bosana, and welcome, B-Bus Army. So as you guys can tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about what women don't want you to know. Shh, I'm spilling the tea. <laughs> but like, I feel like, you know, it's not really spilling anything because of course, there's videos out here that tell it already and it's not that they're directly telling you, oh, women don't want you to know this. But it's like, once you start reading along the lines, you'll realize, oh, women are doing this. This is what women are lying about. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of this stuff is kind of put out there, but it hasn't been put out there where people can really understand it. Because think about it. You're dealing with women all the time or, you know, here and there, whatever. You'll start catching on yourself. And sometimes, even if you're not dealing with them, you'll peep things. But it's the part of reading between the lines, right? So anyways, you guys, you guys though, make sure you check out my Patreon. Make sure you check out my second YouTube channel. If you already did, thank you so much. And make sure you check out my other social media. And so I was actually going to say we start from five, go down to one. You guys know that, but I actually have four points. Now, I could have easily added one more point, but... For me, the whole five down to one, it doesn't really matter. I've been doing a lot of those anyways. So if you guys do want to see a part two after hearing all these things, make sure you let me know down below. And of course, make sure you give your girl a big thumbs up. Okay, so the first thing that I put down for what women don't want you to know is body count. We know, and guys, of course, don't get offended. Like, this is just the world we live in, right? We know if a man comes out and says that he has 20 bodies, a girl can't really say much, right? Because right now, for a man, if you are an F boy, it doesn't really matter. And that's the truth. Like, you guys, you guys can't come for me for that. That's the truth. That's facts. Girls will still be with a guy. A guy can be a hoe and it won't matter. A girl can still, we still will be with a guy. Now, back to a female. If a girl said eight, ten, I don't know. Some, some number that's going to be high for you guys. I don't know. But whatever number it is, Let's say a girl says that it's that amount, right? Once she says that amount, automatically, guys are going to go into the assumption of you're a hoe. Oh, you slept with this many guys. Oh, you're a hoe. Oh, your legs are always open. Things like that, right? So one thing that makes it a reason why women don't want men to know their body count is because they already know what to expect as far as what category they're going to be put into, right? And you guys have to remember, like, I, this is something you guys actually have to remember because I haven't been talking about it enough. I just recently started talking about it, is that girls are protecting themselves. So they're going to say things so they make themselves look good. Although they're out here doing things that portray themselves to be a hoe. And let me not even say portray because I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, they are a hoe regardless. But although they're putting this image out or doing these things that you know you can put the title of she's for the streets on her she still wants to defend herself so badly oh well i'm still a good girl oh i'm still high quality no matter what she's still gonna stick to that even if she just you know got ran through she don't care it's gonna be like i'm still a good girl it's all about protecting their ego that's what it is they're that's the shell that they're putting around their ego they put all these things up they fill it with all this you guys can't break it down i mean there's guys that know how to do it for sure and it's the typically the alphas there's a lot of girls out here that feel like all this is okay to do you know lying about their body counts saying that they're doing this and that and you're gonna see what i'm talking about as i keep going along but they feel like they can do all of this because of the fact that they feel like men are judging them in a way that they feel like they're not supposed to be judged and i'm just speaking to you guys from a woman's perspective a lot of girls are protecting themselves but with the maturity that doesn't come with a lot of women at least not early at all 
it keeps them in this mindset of believing that's the right thoughts that, okay, well, if I'm doing this, uh, well, a guy is doing it, you know, or, you know, it's like the whole feminist thing. So anyways, I don't want to talk too deeply about it. I feel like I already said a lot. So let's move on to the next thing. And it actually does fall into body count. And I won't say too much because not that much to say about it, but um, they lie about if they mess with someone you know. A lot of girls lie about that because they literally don't want to be pinned down as a whole. They don't want that name put put down as a whole. Because look, you have to realize it too that like, it doesn't matter how sweet of a girl you are. If you go and do something, your actions is what's going to back up everything. So you can talk all day. And what's unfortunate, the guys that listen to the girls that are talkers, they talk all day. And they will get away with it with a lot of girls. And also, you have to remember, it's really a higher risk for girls. You know, you got to really watch what you do because it catches up to you. Basically, the expectations for women and men are different. Let me just say it like that. And unfortunately, like, you know, got girls right now are feeling like they don't have to live to the, a woman's expectation because they feel like men have changed. And they also feel like the way society has changed has really changed. And it has changed. It's also being scared, right? Oh, what is he going to think? What's going to happen after that? Oh, he's just going to think this. Like, it's going to be a place of them trying to save themselves instead of taking the chances of something bad happening for them or not working out for them. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. And this is saying sorry. So this is something I decided to just throw in here. I said it a while, while back about, um, what was it that got nice guys love to do? Say sorry, say sorry all the time. But um, now I'm talking about women. I even struggled with this. I literally recently learned how to just own up to my shit when it comes down to seeing things from my point of view. And it's more of the perspective thing that people are really, really lacking. And I mean people, not just women, that, you know, when we look into things, we're not seeing it from somebody else's um, eyes. We're not seeing it from their point of view. We're not seeing it from their perspective at all. We're seeing it from ours. So it's so hard to see why, oh, I'm at fault, right? It's so hard to see, oh, why I should say sorry. Sorry. And I find it more for women to to feel that way because they feel like they're so entitled nowadays, right? A lot of females really do feel like, you know, I deserve respect. I deserve you guys to do this. Take care of me. Take care of my kids. I deserve somebody that can pay for my bills. I deserve so much. That's how they really, really look at it. And they throw the whole idea of what are they bringing to the table, like I said, out of the picture. And so they feel like, you know, if they're in a situation where they're wrong, why do I have to say I'm sorry? You know, why do I have to say I'm sorry? Because I didn't do nothing wrong. You know, I've been a good woman. Um, you know, you haven't did nothing to me. And that's how they look at it. You haven't did nothing for me at all. What have you done to make my life easier? So a lot of girls really do feel entitled and it leads them to not say sorry. And also a lot of girls are just very, very stubborn. You know, I used to be stubborn and I still am like here and there. But you definitely need the right partner to help you with things like that because it's kind of like, it's just a learning thing like it's growth right it's communication like it's all that stuff that you have to work on so it can actually like develop right so let's move on to the last thing and this is their job okay so this is what i was saying when a lot of girls say things because they feel like they need to defend themselves and then they start thinking about well a man's supposed to be the one that is paying for my bills or a man is supposed to be doing all this for me da, 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 all that talk right and it's just ridiculous because it's like Girls really, really feel this way, but what are girls doing? So they, and this is crazy. A lot of girls are starting to feel like, okay, well, I slept with all these guys and you did, but why is it so wrong that I did it? But yet when we're talking, when we're supposed to be in a relationship, you don't do nothing but just sit at home and you want me to pay all the bills, right? So it's like girls have their expectations and then they, like I said, they feel like they don't have to live to their expectations, but when they feel like they don't have to live up to their expectations, they are complaining about the men, but the men are actually living up to their expectations, right? Being the provider. And obviously, there's situations where guys aren't that. And, you know, I feel like it should be 50-50, 100%. I don't believe in the way things used to be. Like, maybe back then, it was nice because, you know, how work used to be. And I don't know all about that stuff, but for sure, it's just like... It worked out back then and it's something that doesn't work out now because women are completely able to make money, right? They're very able just as much as guys are. So it's like the expectations change. The girls are still stuck in the old days of the mindset of, okay, I should be at home and I should not have to pay no bills and I should just be taken care of. But that mindset is stuck in their head, but they took it away the whole being able to clean and being able to cook being important. And now they feel like they don't even need to be a provider. And that's where it's like, 
girls are destructing their own mind they're trying to get both ways of okay i want a man that's going to take care of me but i don't have to bring anything to the table that's the messed up part about all of it so it's like it's part of the whole brainwashing too and the way things are being changed and how girls are being brought up now. So talking about the last thing, saying their job, a lot of girls out here, they don't like to hit you with the, you know, I'm self-employed. I, I, and I'm not saying girls that are not, uh, that are saying they're doing this thing aren't making money, but these are things that girls can fall to say, I'm a model, I'm an influencer, um, I have a business, I'm an entrepreneur. They can say all these things and feel like, okay, well, I'm booming. They don't have an actual nine to five right now to support them, but they feel like they are pretty enough to say that they're a model. So they're a model, even if they took like two photos shoots i'm a model or oh, i'm an influencer i have brands that are sending me clothes but you know they're not going to pay me at all and trying to make it seem like they're really taking care of themselves yet they're just waiting for the next man and they feel like you know their beauty and their body will save them okay you guys so i have so much to say about these topics all the stuff that i talked about it's very good discussion um but other than that, like, you guys, make sure you drop your opinions down below. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Of course, make sure you check out my social media. Make sure you check out my Patreon. And you guys, don't forget my second YouTube channel. You guys will see me in my next video. Bye, guys.